morning so i need a shave i got some cheek hair going on and uh i'm just beach bumming but out those windows right there there's my little studio set up but out those windows there is the most fucking awesome view most awesome view of the fucking waves crashing but uh let's have some saturn fun Way past fucking Bill and his propaganda, his whole thing of just going, it's Saturn, it's Saturn. Now, I could try to explain this. I'll end up explaining it through all the stories that have ever been told. I'll explain it through fucking Disney. Now I'm talking about some fucking Indian prophecy or whatever. And yeah, I said Indian, property of the Dutch East India. Indie company. Oh, how funny. We'll call them Indians. Then we'll call them, we'll change it to Native Americans, the ICANs. You know, <laughs> always a fucking joke. They'll be happy being the Native Amera ICANs. But, uh, Saturn. Now, I could sit here and fucking butcher this shit up for you, I'll give you tons of fucking truth, but really, some fucking meat and potatoes of this shit. The real fucking truth is in most of Bill Donahue's videos, that guy's always talking about Saturn and is giving you the absolute fucking truth. Now, with Bill Donahue, you're going to get it exactly how it is in the Bible, but in the consciousness version you really want. You don't want the worthless number, the numbers, the ones and zeros of it all. Now, on the other side, like I said before, getting into the hard numbers of it, of it all, go over to that guy fucking Santos. And it's hard, because he's got some long videos where a lot of the information is totally worthless. It's all good, it's all truth, but as far as growing yourself, a lot of it's ones and zeros. So, look for some good videos. If you get 45 minutes into one and it was all so far just a bunch of worthless fucking facts, find another one. The real thing that's going on here, and, and I'll tell you again, I've made another video that explains this. What I do is I show you how all this shit's around you right now. How the mind control works. How you think you're not under mind control. How you think you're just some innocent one. And you think it's people like in North Korea that are under mind control. And your mind can't process this. You, you've got too much ego to admit, to see it. And no matter how much you keep shedding, there's more of it. This shit's been going on for so fucking long. And has per been perfected long ago. While you're totally blind to it. While I'm blind to a lot of it. That's what I show you. Now, what I can offer you, one of the greatest fucking things of real learning in all this, is I want you to go watch Bill Donahue, and you're going to hear all the truths about Saturn. But what I want you to do is to listen to him. And when he says something you can't comprehend or you can't understand, I don't want you to do the fucking normal thing you've always done. The normal thing is to, is if something like, let's say Bill Donahue is talking about Jesus. Then he says, Hare Krishna. It's the same dude. If you don't understand, you're the fucking problem. It's your ego. In the past, you'd walk away not understanding and go, Oh, well, uh, I agree with most of what he said, but I don't agree with this and that and that. It was always you. You were the fucking problem. All that shit, if you actually went in and figured it out, you figured out you're the problem. The greatest thing I have to offer you, offer you on this is to watch somebody like Bill Donahue and you wait for him to say something that makes you feel uncomfortable. Something where you go and you used to say, oh, well, uh, I don't agree with that. Now you're going to learn. The greatest thing you can do is learn it was you. You were the problem. If he says, 
Hare Krishna, and you don't understand how Jesus is Hare Krishna, you just found out something you can grow yourself about by learning. That's what I have to offer is the real learning. So if you have fun watching all these videos, waiting for a part that crushes your ego, that fucking hurts you, that's when you know you found truth is when your fucking feelings get hurt. When you're having a fucking hard time with it. That's when you know. So have fun with that. And um, I almost want to elaborate on a um, comment free press left on that Saturn video. Because you, when we're getting into truth like this, it's not like things used to be before. You're going to start discovering how amazing everything really is. How it works. It is so fucking beautiful, and when it's real, it's, it, this is something that I could never explain. It's the difference between death. You're learning a bunch of dead information, never learned anything fucking real. The moment you learn something real, your mind fucking BAM! You become alive. Such a fucking different. Such a different world, the world of being alive versus fucking dead. But um, leave as many comments, of course, and as many questions, and I'll make videos and try to do everything I can. Like I said, I can sit here and try to explain it. It will be truth. It's not even going to be close to what, what these guys are doing. Really, I can show you how all the movies work how all TV works, how the stories work, how the symbolism works, how it's done all around you right now, how you live in it but believe it's somebody over there. I'll show you how it's you, how it's around you. That's pretty much what I do. And, uh, you know, for me, what could be more important? The mysteries were always, who are you? You know, it wasn't about uh, ones and zeros. The same way is how the name of God works. If you thought uh, the name of God, this is how the Jews play it. The Jews play it like, uh, okay, we have this secret name of God written down on the piece of paper. and We're going to keep it from the goyim. No, that's what they told you. The name of God is something you feel. We could talk about the name of God like... DNA, like we wrote DNA out in your alphabet, then switch the letters around, and that's how different things are made of the same code. That's still the ones and zeros of it all. That's still just taking a piece of paper, writing something down, putting it on your pocket, running around saying, I got God, I got God. No, you got a fucking piece of paper with some bullshit written on it. It's how it feels. So this is the kind of shit I have to offer. And of course, you can ask any questions about Saturn. You're going to find out so much awesome stuff of light. How this shit works. Your light bouncing from planet to planet, getting to Earth. The things you've had... How about all the perversion of uh, sexual stuff? You'll find out that light is like seeds. You've been told all this shit's so evil. It's this sexual thing. It's the most beautiful shit you can ever witness if you can get your own fucking mind out of the fucking propaganda. If you can get your own mind out of the fucking gutter it's been put in and realize the fucking beauty of it all. In a broken world, of course. Of course. Not gonna pretend the fucking... Stinger on the bee is a beautiful thing. 